look, I keep telling y'all what's up out here. Now, whether or not you want to listen to me, that's up to you. But your little big sis has not lied yet. When I said that these women are getting extremely desperate, I was not lying. You all, inflation is leading to a lot of women's desperation. Please do not get that misconstrued. Please do not think that this is a drill. This is real life, okay? And like I said, a lot of men are extremely alarmed, appalled, taken aback, shocked, stunned, okay? Psyched out by um, what they're witnessing today. And honestly, you all, I knew that this would happen. I knew that it would come a time to where these women say, you know what? I can't afford to have shame. Whoopsie. I cannot afford to be out here, you know, pretending like, oh no, you know, I'm not going through anything. I'm not struggling. You know, I got all of these men lined up, ready and willing to take care of me. They can't front and fake anymore. They can't. See, it used to be a thing to where these women could come online at least, right? And pretend to be living these luxurious lifestyles to where it's like, oh no, I'm able to live this beautiful life and travel and pay for all these expensive extravagant things, not because I'm selling cooch. Hold on, we're going to get into it. Y'all like the video? Share the video and subscribe. We're going to get into it, okay? It's not because I'm out here selling the peach. It is because I'm just so successful in my business. It is because I am so gorgeous that a lot of these high value men just want to give money to me. No, I don't have to lay down with them. Oh no, I'm not doing anything. I'm not flying out to Dubai to be a porta potty. Oh no. I'm just a high value woman that knows her worth, that knows her value, and I'm living my best life. And on top of that, I run my own lash line online, or I have my own boutique, or I do nails, or whatever. I'm a social media influencer. <laughs> yeah. For a while, they really played that up. To where I was like, oh, no, no, no. I'm not selling no box. Mm -mm. I'm just a successful woman and I'm a high value woman. And men just for absolutely no reason at all want to invest into me, want to pour into me, want to give me their savings. Girl, please. Right. And the reason why a lot of these women were doing that was to feed into the illusion of them being something that they're not so that they can potentially get more people to buy into whatever they were trying to sell. So for example, and again, y'all like the video. I'm going to share my screen in a minute. As a matter of fact, let me get that started up right now. Okay. Cause this is crazy. <laughs> this guy right here was totally taken off guard when, you know, he found out that these women were out here doing the unthinkable. Amen. But let's get into it for a moment. Okay. The reason why these women were playing up this narrative of, oh no, I'm, I'm just a very successful business owner. Uh, or, you know, I'm just this beautiful high value woman that understands my value and men of a certain caliber just want to invest into me and pour into me. I'm not selling anything. The reason why they were doing that when really behind the scenes, they were selling the meow whoopsie, was so that they can eventually get into the lifestyle to where they really are living out what they're saying, right? So in a nutshell, they were trying to fake it until they made it. 
let me pretend to be this high value woman that has a successful business that, you know, a lot of these high value men just want to throw money at. Let me feed that narrative. That way I can get other men out there that may be high value to only want to give me money as well. Right. Yeah. You know, I'm so much of an amazing woman. High quality, high value men want to invest into me. And so what they're supposed to do is convince these other quote unquote high value men to believe that hype and say, you know what? I'm a high value man. Well, let me invest into her too. Let me give her money for absolutely no reason as well. And again, that's not what's going on, but she's trying to feed that illusion so they can buy into it. Again, fake it until she makes it right? That is what a lot of these women are living by. They are living by the code of let me fake it until I make it. Okay. In addition to that, and I have to say this, because I wouldn't be real if I did not. You also have a lot of these chicks out here trying to uh, play up the narrative of being a sugar baby. And they'll have it out there um, as this narrative of being a sugar baby does not require you to have to sleep with these men or give any sugar out to these men, right? And that is their way of not coming off like prostitutes. Yeah, yeah. We're we, we going to see if we can get away with saying bros, prostitute. Yeah, we're going to put a B on it, okay? But that is so they can save face and once again, give off this illusion to trick it into other men's minds that want to be sugar daddies that look, hey, I'll be your sugar baby, but I don't give sugar. Right? So they know that, hey, if you just don't happen to give me money, know that you're not getting any sugar out of me. And the whole time, She's giving sugar out, but she wants to feed that narrative and that illusion to until she can fake it until she makes it a reality to where she is a quote unquote sugar baby that does not give any sugar. But let's be real, you all. It's exactly what they're giving. Sugar baby is a new code word for brass to toot. Okay, please stop. And so, like I'm saying, for a very long time, these women were able to kind of play up that illusion and play up that lifestyle of being just this high value, successful, leveled up woman that did not sell goodies, okay? That did not give away cookies and head. <laughs> you know, but, you know, I just, I have a lot of people who just want to throw money at me. You know, I'm just so beautiful. I, I can't help it. And again, we all know the deal and we know the drill. But now as times are becoming excruciatingly hard, okay? We see the prices going up. We see the simps going down. Do y'all want to get into that for a second? I think that we should. And again, y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. Another level and layer to the conversation is not only are the prices going up and the cost of living is going up, but the amount of men that are ready and willing to just give a woman anything and everything just for the sake of having her around going down. No longer can these women be out here just stringing men along. Men are not doing that anymore. If they are not able to get a return on their investment, they are out. Y'all think these women are not feeling that? So now they have no choice but to let the cat out the bag and say, you know what, y'all? I've been saying that I'm a high value leveled up real woman. Mm hmm. I've been saying that, you know, I'm a sugar baby that does not give out sugar. 
I've been saying that I'm so successful due to my online lash business or my online boutique or my nails, whatever they try to paint it up to be. Um, I know I've been lying and saying that, but in all actuality, yeah, I've been giving some sugars to my sugar daddy. Mm -hmm. Sugar daddies, plural. Yeah, I got more than one. Um, I've been doing some very strange things for uh, small pieces of change. And I'm going to be honest with you, me and now, and say it's getting real, real in the field. And I've noticed that a lot of you all are checking out and done with just giving away your money so effortlessly and so easily. Um, and so with me understanding the climate and me understanding that it's a new breed of men out there to where, you know, you got to get something. Well, well, let me go ahead and let y'all know that if the price is right, whoopsie, um, we can have a good night. Okay. And so a lot of men are just, like I'm saying, very shocked that these women are just coming out like, look, I'm a prostitute and I'm struggling. I'm alone. It's inflation and I am in a state of desperation. And so I need your help. Men are shocked by this. They didn't see this coming like that. Um, now, let me say this. I got to be real. I'm very sure that a lot of you men out there were aware of what these women were doing, right? But for them to be so bold as to admit that they're doing these things and put prices on it, that is what is mind-blowing to a lot of you all. And like I'm saying, you all, that should speak to the fact that a lot of them are extremely desperate. Whereas I look, if you're not able to pay for this and pay for that, please don't even inbox me. Please don't even talk to me. It's that bad. Now these women are like, look, up front, this is what it's going to cost you. And if you're not ready and willing to pay to play, please don't even say anything to me. I think that is what's most mind blowing for a lot of you all is the fact that these women are just coming out, laying out there with no shame and just no embarrassment is like, look, this is what it is. I'm not going to try to paint this up to be something that is not. I'm not going to try to pretend to be something that I'm not. This is what's going on. This is what's been going on. But due to the times and the climate right now, I can't afford to play around with this. I can't afford to just try to pretend that I'm living some luxurious life that I'm not living. Or I just can't pretend like I'm not doing the things that I'm doing. Like this is what it is help me okay this is this is what is going on you all and i feel like that is what's most alarming to a lot of us but let's get into this you all y'all like the video share the video and subscribe one of my crown heads aka one of my dope subscribers sent me over um this link to this video and i said wow now i'm not gonna lie you all i also was taken aback that they actually have priceless you know for the peach you know what i mean like that was a little bit much for me but nonetheless like i said i've been knowing that this was going on i've been knowing that these women were lying you know i've been knowing that these women were struggling and they were really doing these things but again they have to live up to this facade they have to live up to this illusion of being boss chicks no you're a cash app coochie queen but let's get into this you all Y'all like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hey, yo, whatever happened to Shane? Uh, like, like, bro, I'm scrolling down Twitter, and, and this girl come across my timeline straight up selling coochie. But I remember, like, back in the day, like, girls, they'd be reluctant to say that they sell coochie. But nowadays, they openly and proudly selling it. And that's not even the worst part about it. The worst part about it was, was the pricing list. Like, bro, because I'm sitting there looking at this list like, damn, man. I got $200. The average American doesn't have $1,000 in their savings account. And neither do I. But I damn sure got $200. What you talking about? Do you see these prices? Head and sex. One, 
50. Like, when did pussy become so cheap? Like, I thought it was a joke when we were saying, you know, it's going for 40. I at least thought it would go for about 350. 350. And then she got the hand jobs for $60. Like, yo, what made you think you could beat my better than me? For $60. Fine. I'll do it myself. Gulp. Um. Whoopsie. Uh. First things first. This guy is clowning. Okay, let's start there. <laughs> Y'all like the video because this is crazy. Um. Let's take it back. Okay. Because he said, what happened to Shane? All right. What happened to Shane? Let's get into that. Let's answer that question. Okay. And again, y'all like the video. Hey, yo, whatever happened to Shane? Well, here's the thing, sir. When bills, amen, are through the roof, prices for groceries, through the roof, car notes, through the roof. A lot of these chicks cannot even afford to live by themselves. They have to move back in with their parents. They have to have two and three roommates. Like that is the time that we're living in today. So with that being said, sir, I have no room for shame when I got bills to pay. Struggle and shame don't mix. I am so desperate for help. So desperate to make ends meet. I look, shame, please. Shame is for people who have things to lose. I have nothing to lose. I am at rock bottom. So if I got to sell this bikini bottom, then that's what it is. So, fellas, the reason why shame is now out of the window is because my belongings are being thrown out of the window because I am being evicted, sir. I don't have time to sit around like, oh, no, you know, I'm not that type of woman, please. A lot of these chicks have been that type of woman. It's just that now... Ain't no shame in my game because look, I, I got bills. I got expenses. I got debt. I'm struggling. I keep telling y'all winter has been here. Okay. They can't afford to front anymore. This is what it is. And so you're absolutely right, sir. Shame is out of the window because their belongings are being thrown out of their windows. Eviction notices placed on windows. The repo man circling the block. So, yeah, shame is gone because their money is gone. Let's continue. Like the video. Uh, like, like, bro, I'm scrolling down Twitter and, and this girl come across my timeline straight up selling coochie. Now, let's look at this. Let's blow this up. Okay, because this took me out as well. I am not going to lie. And her name is Rude, Rude Asshole. I don't know. It said, if you DM me trying to link, you will play by my rules. Don't argue with Ish. I say, because that's how I do business. Now, uh, let's pause right here. She says, don't argue with ish, I say, because that's how I do business. What did I tell y'all earlier? Oh, ho, ho, ho. what did I tell y'all earlier? These females are out here pretending to run lash line businesses, clothing line businesses, nail businesses, braid businesses, when the whole time their business was selling coach. The cat is out of the bag. No pun intended. 
but we could apply it if we wanted to. But the cat is out of the bag. Okay. The cat is in search for the bag. Amen. Amen. So here is the real scoop, you all. When you saw all these females out here talking about, oh, I'm a sugar baby, but I don't, I don't give sugar. And you know, I'm a boss chick, but I'm not out here prostituting. Mm -hmm. That is really what they were doing. It's just that the shame is out of the window because I am struggling. Let's continue. Okay. It says, if you have a problem with it, go find another home because it ain't me. Now, again, you all, let's peep that game. A lot of these chicks know exactly what they are, who they are, and what it's hitting for. Amen? But for so long, they would go into the whole notion of I'm not no hoe and I ain't no grasta too and I don't sell no cooch and I'm a high class high value real woman and is that no it's so bad that now they are putting the real titling on who they are okay she said go find another hoe which implies that she is one but she's not going to be the one for you if you have a problem with the way that she is running her business, quote unquote. Let's continue. And y'all like, share, comment, and subscribe. It says, you will be blocked instantly. Now, if I DM you about a link and you lead and I follow. Okay, anyway, I don't even know what to say to that. It says a meetup prices, cash out only. So this means that look, nigga, you cannot try to hit me with no PayPal. You cannot try to hit me with no Zelle. No, 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 no. Don't try to meet up in person, give me no check that's going to bounce. No, cash app only. And let me say this. I think the reason why a lot of these cash app coochie queens is what I call them. I think the reason why a lot of these cash app coochie queens will require cash app is because when it comes to cash app, once you see your money, it's out of there. All right. Cash app does not have, in my opinion, the, the proper <sighs> protocol, so to speak to get your money back if you just so happen to send your money to the wrong person or you want a refund like when it comes to cash out you're really relying on that person's good grace to um get your money back if you just so happen to want a refund with cash out when your money is sent it is what it is it is out of their hands that's why they ask you, like, are you sure you want to send this money to this person? And, you know, they make you confirm because once that money is sent off, it's sent off. You can't then come back like, oh, man, you ain't do a good job on that hand job, though. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to need about $10. I'm going to need my money back. You can't do that with Cash App, which is why I'm going to go ahead and peep some game and say that's probably the reason why, you know, she is saying Cash App only. Okay, now let's continue with these prices. It says local meats. Lord have mercy. Mm -mm -mm. Um, head and sex is one fifty. Wow, 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 one fifty. Pretty cheap. Not gonna lie. Um, X alone is um a hundred. So she only charging fifty dollars for it. Okay. Anyway, uh, wait. Th this don't make sense. Now, hold on, ho. Uh, excuse me. Now, hold on, chick. How is Ed and X 150? Right? But X is 100 and, and Ed is 85. So, shouldn't this be 185? Or is it like a, a bolo deal? Like, what's going on? Like, is this like a package deal? uh discount price for the combo like 
you hoes is not only are y'all out here selling the, the cat, but y'all some cheap man. Okay. Uh anyway, it says hand job is 60, rim job is 80. Now I didn't know what a rim job was. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't know what no rim job was, but apparently the rim is the the backside hole. Okay, so if you a grown man and you want to toot that thing up, daddy, make it roll. And if you want to toot that thing up, sir, she's saying to lick that like a lollipop in the bike, you know, that's going to run you uh, $80. Now, okay, let me, I'm being silly, but I got to be honest, okay? And again, y'all like the video. I know this is off the chain. I know this is a little bit much for y'all. You know, but we, we gotta we gotta go here because this is the times that we are in. These are the times that we are in, baby. And so we gotta talk about it. Now, let me say something, amen. Me personally, there's no price I'm gonna ever put on my body. I feel like I am priceless, amen. Um, I feel like the moment that you put a price on yourself, you cheapen your value, you cheapen your soul. Like I ain't no price on my soul. That's first things first, okay. However, um, if you are going to put your soul for sale, why are the prices this damn low? And this is what I'm saying. Like, this is how we know that these chicks are extremely desperate and they are struggling. Do you see this? There is no way in hell I'm going to put my mouth, my tongue, any, come on now, on somebody's rim hole for 80 bucks. 80? No. Absolutely not. $80. Absolutely not. But anyway, it says giving me. Oh, so she's going to make you pay to give her pleasure. That's going to be 70. Mm -mm -mm. Foot session. Oh, 90. Foot session with X, 135. Free for all. No limits. It's only 200. That's crazy. Dare I say, let me, let me go here. Okay. Can I go here? Are you hoes dumb? I think the hoes are dumb. So this is why he went on in the video and said, look, I ain't balling. And the average American don't have a thousand dollars. And he said, he said, I don't either. He said, but I got 200. So this is why he is saying that. This dumb hoe. Excuse my language. I'm sorry. I just got to be real. She's saying that if you pay her only $200, you can get all of this. So, ma'am, 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 you're dumb. You, you hoes dumb. You are actually selling yourself out. By doing this in this manner, like what you should have did, ma'am, was tally all of these prices up, right? You should have tallied all of these prices up and saying you can get all of that for, you know, whatever that you put up to. I don't know. I don't know. Like you hoes is dumb. Like anyway, first things first, ma'am, you shouldn't be doing this anyway. But if you're going to do it, bitch, can you do it right? Like, it'll be cheaper to get everything for, for the two. Anyway, y'all, this is crazy. It says travel fee over 30 minutes is only $30. Oh, my God. Content creator, $150. Keep, you get to keep all the footage for $150. Hold on, y'all. We got to pause. We got to peep the game. You all, the reason why... They are doing this is because they are extremely desperate. I keep telling y'all what's at play. I keep telling y'all that these chicks are struggling. They're struggling so bad. They're not even thinking straight. Seriously. There is no way. She's pretty much saying like, look, you can get all of this for only this price. Like, you're canceling out your services, man. Like, you just don't. You're just a dumb hop. Like, if you're going to do it, man, can you do it? Like, anyway, I'm going to let y'all be dumb and desperate. But you all, this speaks volumes to the climate. This is what's happening today. What's happening today 
is a lot of these women are struggling. They're desperate. They're alone. They need help. And they have no time for shame. They have to keep it 100% real with you men to let you all know that, look, this is not a drill. I do need help. I do need you all to come through and save me and rescue me because the men are not coming through to date us, save us, marry us, take care of us like they used to. And so since that's what it is, look, this is my price. This is what I'm going to need to eat. And like I'm saying, you all, they are so desperate that they're even selling themselves short. Like, it's very much so giving garage sale. You know, like, it's very much so giving going out of business sale. Like, come on, everybody. Everything must go. You know, $200, you can take home everything. That's how bad it is. That's how bad it is. And again, ladies, y'all did this to yourselves. Let me say this before I wrap this up. Ladies, y'all have done this to yourselves. You are the ones out here trying to fake it until you made it. You are the ones out here being extremely um, unrealistic, inconsiderate. You, you did this to yourself. Y'all are the ones who phased yourselves out of relationships, marriages, being taken seriously, the whole nine. Why? Because all y'all did for years, decades, was come through emasculating men, devaluing men, and making it seem like you were almighty and that you need to be bowed down and worshipped. Men say, oh, I'm not doing all of that, especially I'm not getting none in return. Again, new day and age, new breed of men. They need a return on the investment. And a lot of these females out here were strictly liabilities. Now, this is what you have to do. You have to come through with priceless, cheap, priceless at that just to try to make ends meet. And I'm going to be honest with you all. With this cheap priceless like this, these chicks are going to be struggling forever. And here's the thing, you all. The reason why they're also being dumb with their prices and really selling themselves short is because they are attempting to get a lot of men to buy into this. But newsflash, ladies, the men are not even taking you all out on dates. So if you really have it in your mind that they're going to be cashing out on you with your ran through peach, you got to be out of your damn mind. OK, you have got to be out of the loop. If men are not even taking y'all to Applebee's, ma'am, you got to know. <laughs> Come on. You're not even getting a two for 20 special. So 200. Yeah, you ain't you, you ain't going to get that. You definitely going to get that. OK, especially when it's used goods. And when, when I say used goods, I'm talking about overly used goods. No, ma'am. Absolutely not. You know, um, but yeah, your prices are cheap, right? I'm not going to lie. Like you, you offering a hell of a lot for a very low price, but even with those prices being cheap like that, men not going to buy into that. Hell no. Again, you're not even, y'all not even worth a two for 20 special. What makes you think that that ran through 10 baby daddy box is 200 girl, please, please, please. But yeah, you are, um, this is what we're dealing with. Women now, now have price lists for the coach. Okay. They're done fronting and faking and pretending. They're letting you all know up front. Look, if you inboxing me, this is what I need. Okay. It, 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 ain't no horseplay. Ain't no pussy footing around. This is what it is. Okay. I got to pay my bills. All right. And just to be honest with you all, like. I'm telling you, like, that, that priceless ain't going to pay not one bill. Like, what are you going to do with that, man? Pay your phone bill? I don't know. Anyway, but this is what we're dealing with. And I know a lot of y'all men may be shocked, but, you know, this is what has been going on. They just been trying to keep it under wraps and pretend like they're just these high-value, soft-girl, luxury-life-living females. No, they have been prostitutes, okay? They have been cash-out coochie queens. They just are now letting y'all in on the secret because, again, inflation has led to desperation, okay? 
But y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. Uh, are you surprised by this price list? Um, would you pay? Okay, L let me know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we do have a, a, a select few of y'all out there. It's like, yeah, I, I got two hundred dollars. Okay, maybe you like the guy in the video towards like, no, I, I got two hundred. You mean to tell me I get to record you, get that, get that, get that, get that, and that, and keep everything for only two hundred? Maybe you gonna go for that two hundred? I don't know. But uh, I'm gonna tell y'all right now, a lot of the men that I'm encountering. They're telling me, like, nah, I ain't doing all that. Like, I'm looking for women with class, decency, respect, morals, values. Like, I'm I'm looking for that. And I definitely don't want a woman that is for sale, okay? Because if she's for sale, that means that I'm only renting her temporarily. Mm -mm. I need a woman that's dedicated to me, all about me. I don't got time for a female that can be bought, you know? But who knows? I look forward to seeing what y'all got to say in the comments. But y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. I'm going to see y'all in the next dope discussion. And ladies, this is pathetic, okay? Priceless, that's pathetic. L let's do better, okay? Let's set better examples for future generations of women to come to let them know that your body is a temple and you need to treat it as such, okay? Do not be out here selling your soul just to meet a $200 goal. Bars. But we out. Much love and peace.